Have you ever heard this argument? If man evolved from monkeys, then why are there still monkeys? Well, I'm Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist, and I did evolve from a monkey. Sort of. Now, quite often I like to use the analogy of dogs and wolves. If dogs evolved from wolves, and I think pretty much anybody will agree with that fact, then why are there still wolves? But that's not really a good analogy because we can see that evolution. With man, it's a bit more complicated. Yes, man did evolve from a common ancestor. And really, man, we're an ape. We're a naked ape. My six-year-old daughter knows that we are a, a naked ape. If you look at an ape, like a chimpanzee, we're really almost identical. If you look at our body structure, it's undeniable that we are identical. Look at a horse and look at a zebra. A horse isn't a zebra, a zebra isn't a horse, but if you look at the two, you can definitely say they're the same animal. They're just a little bit different. Now, we are an ape. And like other apes, the chimpanzee and bonobo and gorilla and orangutan, we all evolved from a common ancestor, as did monkeys. Now, there are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of different kinds of monkeys. There are a lot of different varieties of monkeys. And the big thing that distinguishes us is apes don't have tails, and there's a few other things, but that's kind of the, the most obvious one. But we evolved from a common ancestor. We evolved from something that we would call a monkey. But by modern standards, it wouldn't really be a monkey. It's not the same monkeys that we have around today. So when you hear the argument, if man evolved from monkeys, why are there so monkeys? It's like, well, we, we did not evolve from those monkeys. We did not evolve from chimpanzees. We did not evolve from, you know, squirrel monkeys or gibbons or, or, you know, we did not evolve from the monkeys that we have around today. We evolved from something like a monkey a long, 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 just a lot of longs time ago. And that ancestry split off to all these different little monkeys and later on split off to apes that later on split off to different kinds of apes and even humans, us modern humans, homo sapiens, even that group split off to several different kinds of humans of which we were the most successful and we either got rid of them or just outlasted them or whatever reason. And that's how evolution works is one group is able to adapt better than another group and either overcompetes or outcompetes the other group or environmental changes the other group just can't change fast enough to handle the changes where our group humans homo sapiens not only were better adaptable adapted to change but we were better to outcompete the other competitors that's how we came to be and the evolutionary process gave us our big brains. And the fact that we evolved from something like a monkey, it wasn't exactly a monkey, it wasn't a monkey that we have around today. So you can't say, how could we evolve from monkeys when there's still monkeys? Is It wasn't those monkeys, it was an entirely different animal that most closely we would call a monkey. But the fact is, we evolved, and we evolved with the same ancestry as chimpanzees and bonobos and gorillas and orangutans and thousands, hundreds of other monkeys. I think probably even lemurs are in that ancestral tree farther back. That's how evolution works, is... One group 
does well and it either does well enough to persist and remain the same or it divides and becomes two groups and those two groups become four groups and those four groups become eight groups and those eight groups become 16 groups and some of those 16 do well and some of the 16 don't do well and maybe you are left with eight if you were to take evolution and every group were to survive there would be hundreds of thousands of different monkeys and apes hell humans Ones like us, there would be probably dozens at least of creatures very much like us that we would look at them and say, those are people, but they would not be homo sapiens. We all believe in Neanderthal. Yes. Hopefully. Yes. Neanderthal were people, but they weren't homo sapiens. They weren't us though. It's arguable that. There is some Neanderthal in people now, which seems pretty reasonable. We were very closely related, but we weren't the same thing. Yet they were people. They were also naked apes. There were many naked apes. So the argument, if we evolved from monkeys, why are there still monkeys? Because we didn't evolve from those monkeys. Same reason why if there's Chimpanzees, why are there bonobos? They're basically the same thing. They are the equivalent of humans and Neanderthal. They're basically the same animal, but they're in different areas and ever so slightly different that makes them chimpanzees and bonobos. Gorillas even. We have lowland gorillas and we have mountain gorillas. They are different kinds of gorillas. If there wasn't evolution, why would there be two kinds of gorillas? You know, if there was a God creating gorillas, why would make, okay, I'm gonna make a lowland gorilla and a mountain gorilla. No, we just make gorillas. Yes, but no, there's two different kinds of gorillas. There's two different kinds of basically chimpanzees. Orangutans, I, I think there's just the one, but monkeys, there's lots of different kinds of monkeys and that's how evolution works. Things diverge because of changing environments and changing conditions and competition causes one group to go away and another one to succeed. And it's a constant change. And that's how we came to be. We did not evolve from the monkeys that we know. None of the monkeys that we know were around the time that we looked like monkeys. And that's the thing is we looked like monkeys and we would be classified as monkeys, but we were not the monkeys that are around today. And that's where the confusion lies. So if we evolved from monkeys, period, it's not even an if it's because we evolved from monkeys. I, well, not because we just did. We did, we, we evolved from monkey like creatures, not the monkeys we see today. So we can't say why they're still monkeys because they different branch. They evolved from the same thing we did. We evolved. That's how it works. We came from monkeys. So did the monkeys. So did the other apes and lots of other monkeys and lots of other apes and lots of other human type creatures, Neanderthal and there's a bunch of them did not make it. That doesn't mean there was a God with a plan. It just means that's how nature works and how evolution works. So when somebody says, if man evolved from monkeys, why are they still monkeys? Just say it was a different kind of monkey. Anyways, I'm Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist. And, uh, I hope that clarifies things. I hope I rambled a little anyways. Good night.